Hey folks, thanks for tuning back again. I'm over here in Cape Coral again to do another swarm removal. You'll see I'm kind of set up here. Uh, I'm gonna cut out on there and I got a bucket of water, trash bucket frames ready to go. So this is what we're looking at. A little closer look. You'll see. Just need to remove those screws. One board at a time and see how they go. has a fatter back so she stands out a little easier. Ah, newbie beekeeper here. What's the matter? That's stung under the armpit. Did you? Yeah. Don't even hurt bad, huh? No. It's like a like a shot almost. Honeybees are like a like a needle almost. Yeah, not like needle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A little, little tree frog. like for food they're pollen and nectar uh -huh. and then the other ones that are capped are babies the like eggs or larva or brood so this is all of their, their their eggs and then around it they have the honey to feed the larva as it hatches okay so then they'll go from there and then they'll come back over here and try to save their babies right okay just a little update here a little more challenging to uh, rubber band up the comb than I thought. Haven't found the queen yet, but we're still looking. Uh, this is the next morning. Uh, it started to rain on me, so I had to leave, uh, but I did return at sunrise. We got all the comb removed. And the bees did cluster up here. I was using a spatula here, a little spade, or whatever you want to call these things, and just this little Tupperware dish. And just cup by cup, I got a little bit of that cluster off one by one, and I saw the queen right here on the windowsill. So I was able to capture the queen with my fingers and I set her on the frames. She already went down. I need to close off the entrance, uh, but I think the bees are gonna stay where they are. So I just threw a little bit of wax in front of the entrance for now to close it off, but 
that's what we got. I didn't have my queen clip in time to catch her with the clip, so I just released her right in the box. I didn't want to hold her by the wings too long. So I'm sure these leftover bees will find another wild colony. Uh, otherwise, at least we got the majority of them with the queen, so let's go relocate them. All right, folks, so here's my bee yard. We're back in my home. You can see my colonies are all bustling and doing great. And let's go take a look at our new bees. These are the uh, bees that we just cut out. And you'll see they're already getting acclimated. Looks like I do got to fix this uh, entrance reducer just a bit. It got pushed in a bit. You can see they're uh, making themselves home right with the rest of these other girls here. We got the tool shed bees and all my other colonies that I need to uh, definitely they probably need to be reduced or split. So this is southwest Florida. It's a rainy overcast day today and I'm just happy to take you guys along for the successful swarm removal. And I'll most certainly keep you updated on the progress here. Once again, I appreciate your time for tuning in. Come back next time. <laughs>